What's going on guys? As always, Acclaimed Sheepdog here, starting Friday's vlog, starting this weekend's vlogs. I don't have anything planned as of yet, but right now, I gotta go take care of some man business. And this episode is sponsored by nobody. I don't have any sponsors. No, but really, I don't have anything planned, so right now, I'm gonna go shower, shave, and I will be right back with you. Enjoy today's vlog. been decided we're going fishing today we've got a couple special guests on the show today and one of them means haven't seen in a while and the other one's got a story to tell so yeah it should shape up to being an interesting vlog i'm just throwing some stuff in the car to get ready to leave all right so as you see i got ben with me ben's back on the show ben hasn't been on the show on the vlog for a while because I don't know if you know, he's actually been in Guatemala with his church, and uh, he's been spending time with the church over there doing volunteer work. He's been on a mission over out in Guatemala, but he's home now. His mission's complete. He done his work. How was Guatemala? Different. Yeah. So, we're uh, we're going to get Tyler now. Oh, that's the second person. Anyway, Tyler's the second person we're fishing with today. We're going to get him now. Number five, medium? Yes, please. What kind of drink? Uh, Coke, uh, Diet Coke. Diet Coke? Do you like for your drinks? Coke. Tyler, you don't want anything? Just a Frosty? Oh Alright, then that'll be it. So it was 1924, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. How's it going? Alright, I got Tyler now. And um, we got some Wendy's. And now we're going to the fishing spot. This is the same fishing spot that was in uh, my fishing vlog number two. So it's going to look familiar if you watch it. So, we picked up Tyler, and when we get there, Tyler has a story to show you. Alright, so, uh... We're at the spot now. Um, we're gonna eat. Well, Tyler tells you a story. As you can tell, Tyler's uh, face looks a little different today. And he's gonna tell you why. So, uh, as you can see, if you can't tell, he has uh, scabs all over his face. It's from second, degree between burn. second and third degree burns. Majority of it was second degree burns, but he had wounds on his face that were getting the third degree burns because there was black spots so anyway Tyler won't you tell him what happened to you so I was at a buddy's house and they were, there was like four of us there and we were trying to get this flintlock to go off and my buddies the this one kid hands me a thing of gunpowder and he goes don't be doing those he goes don't be doing nothing stupid, lighting it off. He goes, just kidding, light it off if you guys want. So they went out on the quad and dirt bikes. It was just me and my buddy Nate. And he dumps it on this log. And then he goes, you lighting it? I go, might as well. And then I go, all right. So I took the lighter and I, w I was sitting there, I was lighting it for a good minute or two, and then when I was lighting it, my face was down in my hand. I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there in my hand, it's burnt too. And I lit it for a minute or two, and then all of a sudden, it just blew up in my face. It was like instant. And then I ran, I was like, Nate, I can't feel my face. He goes, well, you just blew up your face. I go, do I need to go to the hospital? He goes, no, you'll be alright. I go, I'm getting in the hospital. So we ran in the sink. I 
put water all over to cool it down and it didn't help and then uh, I sat in front of the fan while they put stuff on my face, burn cream. And then I went to the hospital. They just gave me cream. They made me get in the shower in the hospital. So they had to like cool my body down. And they rushed me by an ambulance to the burn unit. And they drugged me up with fentanyl. And they sent me home that night. They thought I was going to stay overnight. But they sent me home that night. And I just went back to the doctors today. And they cleared me, so I'm all good, but this is going to take two weeks to heal. So Tyler, has, <clears throat> so Tyler has been in the house the last four days, not doing anything but resting. Um, his face may heal completely. It will heal completely. But there's one thing he didn't take into a factor. When you're shooting a gun, you should always wear eye protection. Doesn't matter if it's sunglasses, anything. He just got lucky and his eyes were closed or his reaction was to close his eyes. He has no damage to his eyes and he's very lucky. That second degree burn, could have, his eyes could look like his face right now. That's how his eyes could be gone. And not to mention it was black powder, which is very explosive his life could have flashed before his eyes. So, Tyler's very young. I hope he learned a lesson here to wear proper safety protection the rest of his life. And I hope he can move on from this. I still like guns, because that was probably a really scary experience for him. But, mm -hmm. he escaped with his life very, very thinly, because uh, doctors did say to him, if it what had burned the back of his neck, he could have died because your central nervous system on your is very important on your neck and it doesn't take very kindly to burns and it can just basically kill you instantly. So that is Tyler's story as you can see his face is pretty scabbed. He's in no pain right now, but that's all scabbing that you're seeing. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put up a picture of his initial burns because YouTube likes to ban likes to take down videos and I don't I don't want this video taken down so I I'll think about it. But anyway, we're gonna finish our food and we're gonna get out there and fish. This all might look familiar if you just watched the fishing vlog, but we're out here on the move. Water's looking good today. We're on the move here. The first spot I caught two rock bass and they each caught a fish. I think they got trout. We're moving up here. Thank you.
Yeah, self-release, there you go. Just a little update so far. I caught five bass. Ben hasn't caught anything. Tyler caught two so far. We've all caught bass. No trout here, I guess. He got a big old stick. So yeah, it's going great for me. All right, just a little update. I caught six fish. They, Tyler caught two, Ben caught none. I just caught one on his pole, so if that counts, let me know, so. Yep. You better watch out your fishing there, guy. I'm gonna knock the crab out of you. Come here, guy. Come here. Yeah, fucking rock, it's your game. Alright, this will be the final update from the bush. We're headed back to the vehicle now. We got about a half hour hike back to the vehicle. Then uh, we're taking Tyler home and uh, going to the station, me and Ben. So, yep. It's been a good day of fishing. I caught seven bass. Tyler caught three. Ben caught four, zero. Alright, four. Tyler caught. All right, after a good hike, we finally made it back to the vehicle. Now uh, we're out of here and we're uh, taking Tyler home. from sheets we're headed to the station now All right, so uh, we're at the station now. We got some grub. We're gonna eat and just relax. Productive day out fishing. So now it's time to relax. So I kind of want to talk about earlier when Tyler told you the story of what happened to him. When I found out what happened to him, I thought he was more injured than he already was. He was already injured pretty bad, but I was really worried because um, kids in our area um, not have been known, but there's a lot of kids in our area that have died young for useless and stupid reasons, for bad accidents, stuff had to do with what they did and stuff, um, what happened to them. So it, I was really glad that he's okay and he will live another day and hopefully he learns a lesson from this and he, he grows from this and it doesn't, he realizes that life is too precious to, uh, make bad decisions like that because uh, he wasn't too far away from death to be 100% honest with you. Um, when you get burnt on your neck, if you get too severely burnt, it will kill you because of your central nervous system goes up into your brain obviously through your, through your spine. So he could have died.
Look, we have a new person in the vlog. It's Josh Hortabay. <laughs> so I'm gonna vacuum and wash my car because it's absolutely filthy. It's kind of embarrassing actually here. Let me turn the brightness up. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing actually. So we're gonna take care of this right now. Okay, so the interior is now clean. Time to clean the exterior. And it's a black car, so I'm gonna have to really take my time with this. Car is washed. The interior and exterior are both looking good. So, check it out. Well, gang, that will bring our night to a close. But. I'll be back tomorrow for Saturday's vlog. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It was kind of all over the place. But anyway, as always, stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day.